Hey everyone. So now we are going to get into the Brother Canvas Cloud and take a look at our project that we scanned and saved up to the cloud. First of all, isn't this a precious little background? This is from Shiny Happy World, Wendy Gratz. She does these. This is an example of an excellent use of Simply Applique if you wanted to do an applique quilt like this. But every month in her blog, she puts out a uh, desktop wallpaper and I like to go out and save it. I keep it in a little folder on my desktop. I do it here and I do it at work because, well, how cute is this guy? He just makes me happy. So use your favorite browser. I'm going to use Microsoft Edge. When you go to your browser page, if you're not sure how to get there, what you can do is just go to Google. Just right up here in the top, type in google.com. And Google comes up and let's type in brother. There it is right there, brother canvas workspace. Pull that up. And there it is right there, okay? There's some videos on how people who use it. So let's go there. And you will come to a login page. If you have never been here before, you need to come up here and register. And if you have been here before, you need to log in. So let's do that. If there are any notices that Brother wants you to know about that are going on for the cloud or patterns or there's a new version, they will run these down here at the bottom. Don't worry about those. As soon as you get into a project, you won't see them. You may also come up with a pop-up that tells you to download the Canvas workspace to your local machine. If you want to do that, that's fine. That's helpful if you do not have a wireless cutting machine and you want to just use a USB connection, you know, USB stick from the scan and cut and then put it in your computer and then you can work on it that way. Or if you are somewhere where there is not an internet connection all the time and you want to do that. So I encourage you to poke around on here. There's lots of neat cutouts and uh, things you can do. All of this is free for use and um, they have lots of, you know, uh, seasonal projects and all kinds of cute things that you can do. And it has instructions and it's all free. But for the things that we scan in, I'm going to go to my projects. And here it is right here. Uh, here's that number 95 that I scanned in. And this is edit and this is download. So you can tell if you're not sure, just hover your mouse over it and you'll get a little tooltip pop-up box above it that tells you what to do. So we'll just click edit this project. And now when you are in the editing mode, that annoying scroll at the bottom goes away. Now this is why I prefer to edit in the cloud rather than on the screen. In the cloud, it's much bigger and you can see a lot of stuff. It's much easier to see all of that. So for instance, we need to get rid of this little mark right here. We've got some stray marks that popped up for one reason or another. The easiest way to do that is to grab the things you want to keep and move them off. If you have a bunch like this, move them off the screen and then take your pointer and come all the way up here to the top and just drag it down until you cover everything and then hit delete. You'll see that they're highlighted with these little blue dashed lines. That means it's been captured. Just hit delete on your keyboard. Ta-da, they're gone. There's another one. Hit delete. There. That's the best way to do that. Now, because you drew these pieces, they are not symmetrical. And when an item is not symmetrical, you need to invert it because you are going to put your fabric side down and paper side up on the cutting machine. So with an item highlighted, you want to go to edit and you want to flip horizontal. Okay, 
do this to every single one. Now, up here, we only have, this is the body piece right here. We're going to make multiples of these right here. So we need to make four paws. I'm going to put this one right here. And I have tried to edit these one at a time and flip them. I've not been successful. So what I'm going to do is I'm just flipping the first one, okay? Highlight of it, on it, I'm going to right click and you get a bunch you know, of options here in a menu and I'm going to copy. So I have copied the inverted or mirrored image of the foot and I'm going to paste and right click, paste and right click, paste. That's going to give us four little paws. All right. I like that. This is our front leg right here. The skinnier one is a front leg. I'm going to come up here to edit and flip. Okay. Click off of that. I'm going to click on it again. Sometimes you want to click off of an item just so the system knows you're not grouping them. Don't ask me why. It just, it's weird the way sometimes that'll happen. I'm going to right click, copy, click off, right click, paste. So there are our four legs and those are kind of skinny. I might move those down here next to the body because the body is kind of big. Okay. I just want more landscape up here. Um, these are very close to being the same size. I think this one is the ear. All right. I'm going to, um, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to edit and flip. And we're going to right click, copy, right click, paste. All right. I think I'm going to turn this one around just to give us a little bit more room when we're cutting. Now, when you're placing these items for cutting, See how you can kind of see the lines that are going to be on the scanning mat? You want to take that into consideration. It's going to help you on your placement of your fabric. So I'm looking at this little line right here and keeping that above. Um, and these guys, so I'm going to move this over just a bit here. There. I think that's okay. When you go to cut your fabric that you're going to use this for, you can count each whole square that's going to be used, all right, in inches. And that tells you how big to make your fabric square you want. All right. And now this is going to be the hind leg, I believe. And so we're going to edit, flip and we're going to click off of it i just do that it just clears the keeps things nice and clean we're going to copy click off and right click and paste and okay i'm going to bring that down here and i'm going to spin that around there we go i think i'm going to turn this one just a little bit and scoot him over and then get this one. If you grab that little green dot down there at the bottom, you can kind of rotate it a little bit and put this one here. All right, so now you can tell, this is gonna work out really well on my 24 inch mat. So my little paws are going to need, probably if I move these up just, See, I'm trying to get them above the two inch line. All right. That way I only really need like two and a half inches of fabric. You can be pretty uh, skimpy with your fabric. If you're too, if you cut the fabric too big, you'll overlap with the piece below it. You don't want to do that. 
That looks really good. This looks like it is ready to download for cutting. So I'm going to hit the download button over here and we'll do that. And we have two file transfer methods. We can download to PC and I want you to notice this is 95.fcm. That's that file compression format I was talking to you about. That is the file we're going to upload into Simply Applique. So, and then here's the scan and cut transfer. So let's click this button and it's going to make this little, you know, pillow for a minute, little balloon for a minute and it's ready. It's done. All right. So we'll close this. Now we want to transfer the file for Simply Applique. So the first thing we need to do is find it a home. So come down here to this yellow folder looking thing. You're going to click that. You can tell I have a test file here. And you can do it either on your desktop or you can do it um, in your computer. You probably have a folder called Documents. And in my Documents, I have a folder for embroidery and I have another one for quilting. So I'm going to make a, I'm going to put it in my quilting folder because this is a quilt. Even though I'm using Simply Applique, it's still a quilt when it's all said and done. Big wall hanging. It's not, to me, it's not, you can put it wherever you want. So, well, how do you make that folder? It's real easy. Um, click off of whatever you happen to have. Um, click if you have anything highlighted. I like to click right over here on the side. And you can right click. And there's a menu that pops up and you go to new and we're going to go to folder and you'll get a folder that looks like this. And when it's highlighted in blue, it wants you to rename it. So I'm going to call it how L E L U J A H hallelujah whoop, quilt and hit enter. So what I'm going to do with this, I want this hallelujah quilt to be inside of my quilting folder. And so what I'm going to do is up, up here on my, um, this is a quick access menu. You can drag folders over here so you can get to them real quick. That's why it's called quick access. I'm going to grab this hallelujah folder. I'm holding my mouse button down and I'm going to drag it into my quilting folder. See how that says move to quilting and let go. Nope, oh, it's gone. Moving, done. Great. I'm going to click on quilting and there's hallelujah quilt. All right. So now I have a place to put all of my files for this. All right. So now, so you can grab the top of these windows and drag them around. Isn't that cool? All right, quit fiddling around, Becky. You're a, you're a nerd. We're going to download. And now we're going to download the FCM format. And it says, well, where do you want to do with it? Where do you want to put it? If you just click save, it's going to go into your downloads folder. And it's going to look like this. This C000095.FCM, you have no idea what that is, okay? So don't, don't click save. You can, but I don't recommend it. You want to hit this little arrow and go to save as. All right. And I'm going to make this a little bigger. I'm going to go to quilting. And I'm going to show you how I move. I want the hallelujah quilt to be in my quick access. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm just going to drag it over here and put the black line under quilting. Well, there it is. I'm going to click on hallelujah. And then on this, you can leave it 95 if you want to know the project number that it is in the cloud. I'm going to hit the home button on my, on my uh, keyboard. And so it takes the cursor all the way to the left and I'm going to type uh, dog body legs, pause, 
ears dash. Okay, so now I know exactly what that file is and I'm going to hit save. So there it is, it finished downloading and we're all done. I don't need to do anything with that right now. I'm just gonna hit this little X right here, make it go away, okay? I'm gonna close this. We are finished with the Brother Canvas for now.